All right, Kenman here. And my quest to collect all the bags in the world like this continues. Here's another. <laughs> Stacking these up. Who cares what's inside? It's all about the bubbly bags. Well, I suppose we could check what's inside. But before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, enough messing around. Let's tear into this bag, right? And on the floor. Recognize this color. Ta -da! Another Sun Cuts. I forgot to say, you know, I've been pulling them all out lately. They've been upside down, and i got to flip for the reveal. I feel like I'm doing it on purpose, but I'm not. But good times. Another Sun Cut. I've got quite a few of them now. I've been enjoying them as a company. They're a good uh, budget company, but they have some good quality for what prices they have. Uh, so we got another one. Let's see which one you think it is. Let's find out. There it is. And we got the old zipper pouch. Standard. Got a couple of stickers like we get. The information, the cloth. And boom, there it is. Knife. We got wood. <laughs> ah. I do not have as many wooden handle knives as I would think I love wood uh, I have I yeah I'm surprised I don't have more um, but we got another one anybody recognize this today we're looking at the Sencut Bront Bront Bronte Bront got this uh, Kibor Kiborta wood Gaborsha wood got that line that's the neat thing about wood is it's going to be unique this one's got this line that cuts all the way across right there it's the only one in the world that's going to be like that wood is unique it is a front flipper look at that blade what an interesting shape on this one huh what's everyone think of this the sun cut brunt probably not bronte Bronte. Yeah, Bront. <clears throat> this has a 9CR18 MOV blade. It's coated. Nice. Got that Kaborsha wood handle. It's got some kind of chamfered edges. It kind of actually contours down the middle a little bit lower, almost kind of recesses a little. Interesting. It's a liner lock. And like I said, it's got that front flipper that seems to work pretty good. It also has this nice long fuller. You can get in there and flick that out. That is great. I wonder if you can, yeah, you can thumb flick that out. It's kind of sideways, but it, it worked. Cool. So yeah, liner lock, front flipper, got that groove for flipping out. Not bad. Sendcut is pretty consistent where they'll put their name and their little logo right there. Sometimes they'll put the little blade steel or if they have like a flipper tab, oh, which they did. On the flipper tab, they put the steel. So you got you see that 9CR18 MOV in there. Um, so they keep their branding minimal. Oh, there's my fail. Got to get one in. Um, they keep the branding fairly minimal. I like the clean look of it. You know, that doesn't really bother me too much. This is nice. This is an interesting looking knife. Um, got an interesting shape. Is that a cool shape or is that a... I think it's going to be functional because the tip is lower. It's kind of easier to get to it when the the tip has a swoop. Uh, more like the clip points. I love the way they look, but as functional, um, not as much. Let's just go ahead and hijack this right now. See how this clip point swoops up. I love it. I love the way it looks. But when sometimes when you're getting in to do some work, because that tip's up here, 
it might be a little bit harder for certain tasks um, versus something that's down low, more kind of like a sheep's foot. You can kind of get that point in where you want it to be, if that makes sense. Uh, that's not the problem is I'm going to get this, um, this clip can be swapped to the other side. And I notice that when I'm going to finger flick it, it my thumb sits right on that hot spot, which kind of makes it affected. I'm just going to make up excuses because, you know, I suck at opening knives sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's nice because I am a lefty. We'll swap that clip to the other side. It's pretty clean, simple little look there. They've got the one screw here that's... That screw and one of the pocket clip screws does that standoff or that spacer back there. Um, yeah. Looks like there is a little kind of cutout they've got right there on this side for accessing that liner. It actually doesn't seem like it's an issue to get to. I can get to that pretty easy. Um, it's not, it's got those little. Uh, jimps on them it doesn't feel too sharp or annoying and it's pretty easy for my thumb to get in there and kind of do that all right there are no jimps on the back here which sad face i love me a couple of jimps It'd be nice right there it doesn't really need it feels nice in the hand size wise feels pretty good we'll do some comparisons in a second here you know I kind of put this one off for a while. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. The style, the, the design, the, uh, the uh, everything about it. But then, uh, you know, after a while, you just kind of pull the trigger. It's interesting. Okay. The blade looks like it's actually kicked that way just a tiny bit. But sometimes just by working it, it's going to slowly loosen up and move. Or I just might be able to just crank that down just a little bit and it should be good. It's not bad. Um, play. That thing is solid in all directions, which is good. And, oh, that little detent, just right when it gets towards the end, just pulls her in. Not bad. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this knife. Okay, what do we got? We have a CJRB Pyrite. Let's do some comparisons size-wise. This Bront is a little bit larger than the Pyrite's uh, handle. If you actually go from tip to tip on the handle here, they're the same. But this Pyrite bends down on both sides, so it's only this very little tip right there and the tip on the, on the butt side. They kind of even out, so this looks a little bigger just because it's more rounded and goes all the way out, kind of a uniform shape. <clears throat> Cutting surface is definitely a little bit smaller on the pyrite, but the overall blade length it's is still also a little bit smaller. So uh, the scent cut's slightly larger, not quite a super full size knife, but uh, it's bigger than the pyrite at least, anyways. Well, let's get out my other scent cuts. We have the Sencut Crowley button lock. Love this knife. I did the die on that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go this way and then that way since I haven't flipped the clip quite yet. This is the Brazoria. Another, oh, geez, having some issues with my hands today, I guess. Another one that I did the die for. Um, as you can see, when I do the dies, it kind of brings out the textures a little bit more. It's pretty cool. It's a fun uh, process. If you haven't seen any of those, bing, there, there she is. Uh, I've done quite a few of them. What happens is I get a knife like this Vesperon right here where it's uh, the jade color. And we take it apart and uh, dye the scales and then put it back together. You get to see that whole process from start to finish. And it's just a neat way to kind of customize your knives and make them your own. Um, the last one that I've got right now, this Fantara, I did also in kind of a slightly see-through orange. Uh, nice, big, beefy knife. Oh, geez. But uh, Scent Cut, they make some cool types of stuff. A lot of variety if you're looking for, obviously, just right here. I've got quite a few different styles. Um, we'll go into an aluminum one. This is also a button lock. This is the uh, Serene. As you can see, 
their button locks for a budget knife. Man, come on. These things kick ace. They're great. I love them. As you can see, I haven't had send cuts for all that long, and here we are. What do I got? Six, seven of them now. This one is the Honoris. This is the one I have with some uh, micarta. I love micarta handles. They feel great. They kind of wear and work in and kind of change over time, uh, but they feel, I like the way they feel. I need to get some more micarta. I have a few. Um, yeah, I don't know if I said this is the Honoris. So there we are. I also have one other, uh, the Watauga, but it is disassembled right now, getting ready for its die. Um, pay attention for the die job for that if you want to watch part one of it. It's right there. Um, but yeah, Sendcut, budget company. They are like uh, making some really good stuff for lower prices, higher quality. I'm pretty happy with them. I like it. I, yeah, I, I don't know what else I can say other than they, uh, they, like, they impressed me a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm a little flustery, tongue tied today, lost with my words. Uh, this is quite an interesting knife. You know, that's the thing when you get wood, you just don't know what kind of chunk of wood. There was ten of them in ten boxes, and they're all closed. And you grab one, and it's gonna have a line across it like this and another one's just going to be really plain maybe more like this side this side's kind of a little bit boring to me doesn't have a lot of stuff I'd like to maybe see some more of these lines in there would be kind of cool um, but really the color of the wood doesn't have a whole lot of excitement for me personally and I'm gonna put this clip on the other side so that's gonna kind of hide some of that wood just a little bit um, I do have what one other Wooden one, this Civivi Altus. This knife is also, oops, a great knife. Look at this action, it just pow. Um, but see this wood, uh, it's the same kind of wood, but see this one's a little bit more red, a little bit kind of a deeper, richer kind of color. And the lines, the groove, uh, words, words. The darker lines in, in here kind of stick out a little bit more, but they're still kind of subtle. But I like it. It's got a nice feel and a nice style and look on this particular one versus I feel like this could be a little bit darker. It's kind of more of an orange kind of a shade and not quite as much uh, variety. I do love this line. I just wish there was like another one. You know, give me one across here, a little bit more grain or something in it. What's everyone think of this knife? Like it? What's everyone think of Send Cut? I'm enjoying them. What Send Cuts have I not seen that I should maybe look at? Maybe I can pick up. Um, since I'm not sponsored, it's kind of on me to kind of, I get a, a knife. I got this Crowley, and this Crowley action was so amazing. I'm like, wow, this knife is great. And it made me want to continue looking at the Send Cut brand. And here we are, I'm seven, well, yeah, six, seven, eight over there. Eight knives in with the company. I'm happy with them. I would definitely consider getting some more. Um, if you are in the budget world looking for uh, less expensive knives, you know, under that $50, $60 range or less, Sandcut might be a good option for you to check out. They do have quite a few varieties. Like I said, some button locks and some liner locks and uh, some obviously different shapes and designs, styles, aluminum, micarta. You got your G10, your wood. I've got a little bit of all of it. And I'll probably get some more. Anyway, uh, I got some more dyes coming up soon. i um, doing some anodizing of some titanium. Some more of that coming up soon. More unboxings, a lot of fun stuff with the channel. Uh, thank you for tuning in. That's going to be it for the for, for the Wow, most tongue flustered video ever. <laughs> if you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. It helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp, and we'll see you soon.